Say this, you cannot trust what you see, particularly in this day and age. Absolutely. I have seen, I have seen aliens attack the earth. I've seen dinosaurs roam the land. I've seen animals talk and elephants fly. I've seen pictures of people who look much better than they look. Can you say Photoshop? <laughs> Or you, CG. You can't. You can't trust what you see, and, and that was more never, so. More that, so. Right. That was so. never more true That's than right. it is That's today. Right. That's so true. Now, given that, if you understand something, if you understand what an optical. Well, let me go back and just a half a step. Mm -hmm. Our God is God of power and might. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Satan has been disarmed. He has no power. He's been disarmed. That's right. What he is is a liar, right? So he has to operate on deceit. Mm -hmm. Now, optical illusions, some are just out and out lies. Mm -hmm. Some are just, well, let me, let me go into it. But given the fact that this world is in the power of the evil one and he's a liar, I want to tell you something. Much of what you see, and less, like Mark prayed in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And, and Paul prays that we God opened the eyes of our hearts that we would see wonderful things in his word, right? An optical illusion is characterized by visually perceived images that differ from objective reality. Did you get that? There's a perception is not reality. It's, you perceive things that differ from objective reality. I want to show you an example, okay? So I have a little demonstration that will show how easily our eyes are deceived with an optical illusion. So I'm going to zoom right in here, and I have two cards here that I'm going to hold up. Uh, so you can see which one is bigger than the other, right? So which one is bigger? I'm sorry, what, what did you say? Which which one is bigger, the red or the blue? I'm sorry, the, the red or the blue? Which one's bigger? The red or the blue? Well, as you may have guessed by now, they're actually exactly the same size. It is an optical illusion created by the way our eyes perceive things that allows us to think that one is larger than the other, when in fact they're exactly the same size. It's about the way you see things. It's about understanding that in the natural, it is easy to be deceived. I started to say, I, I, and I distracted myself, okay? God is a God of power and might. Satan, who has no power, mm -hmm. has to use optical illusions to see. What he uses, he's a magician. That's right. Right? By the way, magician comes from that word magi who were the Babylonian priests, okay? It's, they, have, they have the illusion of power, but not the reality of power. And that's the concept of magic. It's the illusion of the power, right? So now it's a matter of can you discern? Discernment is supposed to be a gift of the Holy Spirit here. Can you discern the difference between the illusion and the reality? You know, I, I'm just thinking about this too because when you see that when you when you show the the two the cards, the two cards, you can sit there and say, "I I saw it. It's bigger. That one is bigger." Absolutely. There's no doubt in your mind. You saw it. And there's so many examples. By the way, I mean, you can go on the internet and just look up optical illusions. You'll see so many so many examples of things that are just. It it seems incredible that it's so easy for us to be deceived. Yes. And by the way, I mean, I I understand like. It's not a lie that 
one, let me go back to these cards just for a second that I was showing you. The reality is, it's the way that our eyes work. Yes. Okay, in this case, because we, our brain has a tendency, we look at something, we focus on the center of that thing. Mm -hmm. And in the center, this one is very much bigger than this. And now, it's still the same, all right? It's just the way, it's the way our eyes send information to our brains, which is why we're called not to walk by what we see, but right. by faith. Amen. Because our what we see is untrustworthy. It's not reliable. It's not reliable. Uh, I mean, you can watch these magicians, and it's it's amazing what they do. But it's all trickery. It's all smoke and mirrors. That's right. And you have you have to, but you have to know that, and you have to understand it. You know, in the book of Acts, there was Simon the magician, and people said, "This is the great power of God." Well, indeed, it was not the great power of God. And, and Simon was the first to recognize that because when he saw real power, when he encountered the apostles filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the power of God, he saw real power and he immediately recognized the difference. And he wanted to buy it, yes. That didn't bode well for him. Thy word is strength. Thy word is power. Your word is kind, and your word is true. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Thy word have I hid, O oh God, in my heart, oh my heart. That I might not sin against 